Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here from gshelper.com and I'm going to show you how to get Game Center ready for your um, device. So you're going to want to start testing Game Center, make sure it's all working before you upload your app and this is going to get walk you through most of the steps. So the first thing we need to do is go to the provisioning portal, create an app ID for your new game. You may already have an app ID, but I'm going to run through this anyways. So we're going to go here, uh, my crazy cool game and for my bundle ID it will be com dot t-shirt booth dot my crazy cool game and uh, I'm gonna hit next oh I just uh, spelt that wrong here crazy cool game so I'm gonna hit submit now I'm gonna go into provisioning and we're gonna create a provisioning for this now, yes, you do have to do all of this before you can start testing uh, Game Center. So, distribution. I'm going to create profile. Now, there's ad hoc and app store. The first thing, the only way to test a game is with an ad hoc. So, we're going to make ad hoc and we're going to do that for testing. Later on, when it's time to upload this game to Apple, we'll come back and we'll change this to app store, download the new provisioning, delete the old one, and then upload the game salad with the new provisioning under the same Apple ID so right now we're gonna do ad hoc and choose your devices and I'm gonna select my crazy cool game if I can find it here in the list uh, my crazy cool game is here and now I'm gonna submit am I forgetting something oh sorry my crazy cool game now what we're gonna do is hit dis distribution again we're gonna go find it here uh, my crazy cool game I'm gonna download that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into iTunes connect uh, right here and I'm gonna go to iTunes connect and now I'm doing all this before I even go into Game Salad and start setting up Game Center. So I'm going to go Manage Your Applications. I'm going to hit New App, iPhone. And before we can test, we have to go through this process. Even though we're not uploading anything to Apple right now, Apple needs to know that that game exists. So I'm going to call this my crazy cool game. And I'll make up a skew, choose from the list. There it is. Hit continue. And release date doesn't matter. And we're going to charge a thousand dollars for this. Hit continue. I'm just going to quickly add this stuff. You can always change it later when it's time to upload. Description. I'm going to choose a category. Some keywords. Doesn't really matter. Copyright. Email address. Get these in there. I'm going to make my ratings here. Again, all this can be changed before you upload to Apple. Um, we're just getting this ready, so game sell it, or sorry, so Apple knows it's a game. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to choose um, choose my icon here. I'm just choosing one from the game I'm working on now. When that's done, I'll choose a screenshot. It's a little slow today. I'm not sure if I can choose a screenshot as that's working, so I'll not do that. It usually doesn't take this long. Maybe I'll try the screenshot while we're waiting. I'm going to go to desktop and uh, take a screenshot, upload that. OK, 
Okay, I didn't like my icon, so I'll choose another icon. Uh, icon 1. There we go. So I'm going to hit save. Now it's very important, see the bundle ID here? It's very important that when you publish your ad hoc with Game Salad, you use the profile with this bundle ID. Otherwise, the game will not recognize it as a Game Center game. So we're going to hit done just to process it. And then I'm going to go back in and we're going to go manage Game Center. And what we need to do is hit enable. Once that's enabled, we're going to set up a leaderboard. So we'll hit add leaderboard and we're going to hit choose for single. Now the leaderboard reference name. So this will be, you know, what, what they'll see. So I'm going to say world one. That's my world one scores. Now we need a leaderboard ID and a lot of people think we can just go world one. But the problem with that is, is someone else could have already used that. The, no one's going to see this, okay? So it's best practice to use this format, com.tshirtbooth.world1. And I've already used world1, so I'm going to use level1. That way no one else can have a leaderboard ID the same as yours. Then we're going to choose a format. We can choose integer, fixed point, um, so decimals, or elapsed time and um, money. So we're going to go integer because it's just a normal score. Now you got to choose do you want the the highest score to be first in the list or do you want the lowest score to be first in the list. So I'm going to go highest score first because that's what I want for this. And then you hit add language. We're going to choose English. Now this is what you the title of the leaderboard. When they go into Game Center this is what the title of this score will be. So we're going to go World 1 and I'm going to choose a format and um, integer is what I want. I don't need a, a suffix or a prefix. So if you want an S on the end for plural, you know, you'll put it here. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to hit save. Now you can see we have another save button over here. We'll click it. And the leaderboard reference name you entered has already been used. So I've already have a game with that. So it's not going to work for me. So we're going to go level one I'm going to choose save and it's good now a lot of people say well I want to have more leaderboards so you simply just go in add leaderboard choose and do the process all over again um, so we're going to go level two com dot t-shirt booth dot level two and again, we want uh, integer, high to low, add language. We're going to go English again, level two, choose format, save, and then save. So now I have two leaderboards. And um, I'm done with leaderboards. I'm going to go back, and we're going to hit done. Now, we're also going to want to go done again. And then go back into our app and choose View Details. And we're going to go down here and we're going to hit Enable the, uh, able for this version. So this way Game Center is enabled for this version and here are our leaderboards. And so everything we need to do is now done in Apple's section. Um, we haven't uploaded to Apple. We're not going to upload to later. This is just so we can test Game Center. So now what we're going to do is we have our game that we're ready for Game Center. So we're going to open it up. And we have our login button. So this button will tell us to log into Game Center with the login feature here. So we don't need to do anything with that. We just set up the button. Now we want to post our score. So we're working on World 1 or Level 1 and we want to post our score. So I'm going to go in and create a score attribute and it's an integer score. So we're going to go into post score button and we're going to tell it to post game dot score and for the leaderboard ID we're going to say com dot t-shirt 
booth dot level one. This way it knows what leaderboard to post to. And then we're going to hit back and we're going to go view leaderboard button and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tell it to, to view the leaderboard at com dot t-shirt booth dot level one. And if I did level two, when you press the button, it would show me the leaderboard for level two. And we're going to go back. And now I'm going to go into Finder and I'm going to go into my downloads. And I'm going to install my provisioning profile. And now we're going to publish. So I'm going to go iPhone. And I guess it wants me to log in and out again. Yep, so hold on a second. Log out, log in. So now I'm going to go publish iPhone. When I create new, I'm going to choose my icon. Add my keywords. Hit next. Now under provisioning profile, we're going to choose my crazy cool game. And then we're going to go advanced options. And you have to make sure this is the same bundle identifier as the one that you made in iTunes Connect when you went through the steps of uh, making your Game Center game. Um, game Center is only good for 4.1, but you can put 3.0. Anybody that doesn't have 4.1 or better will just get a message saying Game Center is not enabled. We're going to hit Done. And my crazy cool game. And we're going to hit next, next, and we'll add a screenshot, next, and then we publish. Now that's all I can show you on the computer. Um, the rest happens on the device. So these last steps, you're going to want to make sure one, you're logged out of Game Center. Go into Game Center and log yourself out. Then start your app, or after the app is installed on your device, start the app, hit the log into Game Center button, and it's going to ask you if you want to use an existing account or an old account. Make sure that screen, somewhere on the screen, says Sandbox. Because if, if it's not in Sandbox mode, it's not going to work. Sandbox mode allows you to test all these scores without actually affecting the leaderboard when the game goes live. So make sure it's a Sandbox mode. If it does, hit Create New User Account create a new sandbox user account and once you're logged in you'll be able to post to Game Center don't worry if a score doesn't post right away it takes some time sometimes the sandbox mode is not the most reliable if you have friends also testing your game on sandbox mode the scores may not um, sync up as quick uh, but they will eventually show up so um, that's pretty much all you need to know um, I guess the last thing is if your phone is hacked you may have a difficult time getting your phone into sandbox mode um, so other than that I hope this helped and thanks for listening